Hey guys, it's Mei Mei and we continue to work in our burlap gift bag turned mini album. And tonight we're going to feature a plastic bag. I have always wanted to try to do a double slider card and I've never done it. So I did some research. I went online and looked and saw how you do it or at least I got the gist of it. And we're going to try it together. So if I mess up, I mess up and you'll just see me mess up. Okay, so here's what I've pre-prepared. All right, I have some foam tape that I'll show you how we're going to use that. I have a plastic bag, just a strip from a plastic bag. And what my idea is, I want to take one of these journal pages, which I think this is so pretty. I cut this out of the paper pack and I cut a piece just big enough to leave a little border. And I thought I'd bring some blue in. It's not the perfect blue, but I think it works. And it will really pop right here. Now what I want to do is I want to have two pieces that when you pull one, I don't know if you've seen this before, but when you like pull the bottom one, the top will open as well, like that. Make sense? Okay, that's what we're going to try to do. So, I have these pieces cut. Then I cut this piece to go behind, and here's how I did the measurement. I cut it the very same size as this top piece because I knew that my mat was slightly bigger. So I know if I put this behind here, it will be covered by the mat. Okay, so this is going to be our working piece, and these we don't have to do anything with except attach them together. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm using the side that has the journaling on it because I think that'll be neat to kind of journal what's in this flap. I don't know. I just want to try something different. And we will see how this turns out together. It's just paper, right? So if we mess up, we mess up. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside for now. Now what I understand has to happen here is you have to cut some little notches out to keep the plastic bag in line as it moves. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some notches. So I'm going to get my ruler and my pencil. And I'm going to measure in um, half an inch from each side. So half an inch, half an inch, go down here half an inch. And we're just making these little like stop tabs. You'll see what I mean. Okay, and now I want these to go down another half of an inch. So I'll come here and measure half an inch. And then here and measure half an inch. This doesn't have to be perfect, I don't think. I think we'll be alright if it's not. Then, I'm going to draw a line between those two little dots I just made that are half an inch in and half an inch down. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing down here. Go measure down half an inch. Here and here. And then connect those lines. Now, when I watch people do this, it seems extremely complicated, but it's not. You just have to think it through. It's not complicated, okay? So now I'm going to cut this. And I'm just going to go from that half inch knot to, notch to the line we made. Do the same on this side. Then I'm going to notch this side. These are not the best scissors for this job, but they were handy. And this is kind of a working piece you won't really see. And now I think what I'm going to do is use my X-Acto blade to cut this. I think it'll be easier and it won't bend the paper too much. You could do this with your paper trimmer. So you see what we've created there? Just kind of like a notch, really, honestly. Now then, I'm gonna move this bag for a, move this book for a second, and bring the bag over. Now it's my understanding that this bag needs to be cut slightly shorter than this width. So what I'm gonna do is lay this here. No, I think I'm gonna use this side. I think it's straighter. Lay this here. Make a little mark right there. Then, to make this go faster, I'm going to fold it up several times. Because I don't want to try to cut this straight, because I don't think I'll be able to do it. Okay, now while I've got it folded like this, 
I'm going to trim off this end to make sure all that's the same. Nice and straight. Turn it around, and I'm going to do the same thing there. Now let's see what we get. Pretty good straight piece. Okay. Now then, from my understanding, we're going to lay this here so that that is inside of the notches. We're going to bring one piece over, okay? And then using something really sticky. So I'm going to use sticky strip. I hate to call it that. I'm going to use this paper tape. Um, and I'm just going to take a piece off and put it down on this end of the bag. Make sure I get it on there right. It cannot touch the card the cardstock underneath. That's important. <laughs> so I didn't do that right. Okay, let's try it again. Stick it down. There we go. Okay. Now I got a little bit of that sticking off, and I'm scared that's going to slow me down. So I'm gonna nip it, <laughs> as Barney Fife would say. I want to nip it. Nip it in the bud, and now it's stuck to my finger. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side because I feel like I've got some hanging off over here too. And I know that if that catches, it's going to mess us up. Okay. Now, let's peel this backer off. Just like so. Let's make sure this is laying as straight as we can. Like that. Now, from what I have seen folks do is they don't pull it like super, super tight, but you pull it pretty smooth. You want it to um, have some movement, but not too much movement. So just going to bring that bag over and let that touch. And then cut it away, all the excess we don't need. Now, this should move just like that. It's hard to see, but it does move. Okay, and when this is attached down, it'll be better. Okay, now what I'm going to do, make sure this is going to roll all the way, and it does. Bring this back down. Now I'm keeping that adhesive part at this bottom piece, and you'll see why. Now I want to put my um, foam tape on. I'm hoping I have enough foam tape because I don't have a whole lot. All right, I'm gonna run it down the length of this edge, the entire length, just like that. Then the other side. Like that. And now, because I want this to have dimension on both sides, I want cards to go in the back and the front, I'm going to run some on this side as well. So that way it'll pick it up off of the book and it'll take it away from the journal spot as well. Here and here. So now you can see that I will have dimension from this so it won't touch either way. Okay, now we need to make tags to go in here. One tag will get it here to the top portion, and then one tag will get it here to the bottom portion, so when you pull this one, it'll pull that one out. Okay. So now that we've got this guy ready, we gotta decide how big our tag is gonna be that goes inside of here. And here's how we're gonna do it. I think I'm gonna make my tag the same size as that slice that I made, which is three inches, because that still clears plenty of room on either side of this foam tape. So I'm going to cut my tag three inches wide, but I've got to decide how far out I want it to stick from this piece. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit this down here and put this on top. This will actually be hidden behind here. But I can take my ruler and decide how much of the tag I want to stick out at the top. I'm thinking about, about half an inch. Maybe a little bit more to be safe because I can always trim more off. So that's six and a quarter by three. So I'm going to cut two pieces that are six and a quarter by three. Okay, so this piece is six and a quarter by three inches. And I want to show you that it's going to sit right in here like this. And we've got plenty of room on either side. 
but I want to make a tab in for the for the top. So I'm going to go ahead and use my envelope punch board. How about that? We haven't used that in this video in this book. So I'll pull this guy out, and I'm just going to take one end and line it into the center of this punch area, just eyeballing the center. Punch one side, flip it over. This is going to make that file tab. You've probably all seen this before, but you see how you get that cool little file tab in? So I'm going to do that to both pieces real quick. Now I want to make, I want to mat this piece, and I want it to match here as well. So here's what you do. You're going to cut a mat piece that is a quarter of an inch smaller. So this one's six and a quarter, so I'm going to cut a piece that's six inches by two and three quarters, and then we'll punch the top. So this piece is six and a quarter, um, ooh, I forgot, what did I cut it to? Yeah, six by two and three quarters. Right. So now I'm going to do the same punch on this one, and when I do that, it should mat this one perfectly. Let's just see. So I'm going to line it up in here in the center, just eyeballing it. Do the other side. Now, I'm going to leave this black side out so you can really see it good. But see how that will match the curve, and so we get a good mat. We only have to do this on one side because this part's going to be facing down, so we only need to do the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that twice so we have two of these. Okay, so here's my two bottoms and my two mats. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these together. Just going to use a little ATG. Put this one down. I like how it works just perfectly to give us that matted edge at the top. And now I'm going to do this one. Now, because this is going to be a pull system where one gets pulled and one comes out automatically, we only need to pull on one end. I think I'm going to put the pull at the bottom. That way, when you pull, you'll pull it away from you, and this will go to the top, and it won't interfere with where you're sitting looking at the book. So I want to put a hole in this one. All right, so I got my crocodile, and I'm going to use the bigger hole, and I'm going to eyeball the center. Just like that, leaving myself plenty of room so the ribbon doesn't pull through. And now I've got to pick a ribbon out. Because whenever I'm doing this, I take all my scraps and put them into the same box, the same paper scraps, ribbon scraps. If I use it, I put this scrap in. I have this piece, and I'm going to use it. It's all I had left of that ribbon, too. <laughs> I used my last little piece of it. I'm going to cut this to a good point so I can send it through that hole we made. Then, see this loop? You're going to take your end pieces and stick them through that loop. And this makes like a slip knot, so you just pull it gently and you get your tag pull. I think that's cute, but it needs to be shorter. Cute, cute. Okay. So we have these made, we have this ready to go, we have this ready to go. We need to attach our tags to this. Okay, what you want to do here is you want to adhere one of them down to this end, and I'm going to use sticky tape again because I know it will be strong enough. I want to make sure I don't rip it too big because I don't need any hanging off. And I'm going to come down to this edge. I did get it a tiny bit too big again. Come down here and clip that loose. Clip that little end. Okay. So now that I've got this piece here, I hope this works, guys. I'm just doing this from watching YouTube videos. That's how I learn everything on YouTube. How about you guys? <laughs> okay. So this piece is now going to line up to the edge like so, making sure that it's straight and has plenty of room to slide on either side and you adhere it down. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to put sticky tape on this end. Just like so. And then this piece is going to get stuck here to this end. Again, making sure you have plenty of room to slide it. 
Now, if this works right, when you pull this from the book, it will slide. I did it wrong. Do you see what I did? Let me tell you what I did. I gotta remove this one. I think I'm gonna have to remove them both. Glad we tried that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off too, and I'll show you why. This matters. Remember I told you it mattered where this was? Because this will mess up your spin. This is the adhesive we put on the first time. So it needs to stay at one edge. So when it pulls, it just comes this way and goes back here and doesn't wrap around. So that was a problem. So I need to fix that. So now that I've got it in the right place, my adhesive stuck to this side, which is good. Now I'm going to put this back. So make sure you let that fold be on that side. We'll try it again after this. I think it will help. I told y'all. I did not know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's try pulling now. Oh, much better. See that? Because it doesn't have to take the turn. Oh, I think I'm going to like this. Okay. Now, while I have this off, I'm going to take this piece and turn it over. And I'm going to peel these foam adhesives off. This side off. This side off. And now, making sure that I have the top facing up. And remember, I want the pull tab at the bottom. Now I'm going to line this up on here. As straight as I can get it. Just like that. Now I'm going to pull these back pieces off and we're going in the book. I'm excited. I'm ready to see how it works. All right, so this is the page I'm going to put it on. Pull tab at the bottom. I'm going to center this on the page. Is this going to work, guys? I sure hope so. All right, you ready to try it out? Let's see. I'm going to pull the tab at the bottom. It works. I'm excited. I'm going to turn this sideways so you guys can see the whole thing. Ready? Check it out. We got a little more real estate there. That is super cool. I'm so glad I tried that because I really like that in the book. That's so neat. I wish I would have paid attention to this, but I didn't, and I'm not going to worry about it because <laughs> I think you can see it just fine. Super cool. Love it. Okay, so we got this back page done, and this will actually close onto here. See that? Oh, I love it. Okay, I also wanted to show you that while I was away, I went ahead and matted these book pages here. See that? So I got that done. And tonight, I want us to go ahead and make the pull tabs for the um, pages we made for in here. So I'm going to do that real quick, too. The way I'm going to do that is two punches. I'm going to use a one and a quarter inch and a one and a half inch. My one and a half is scalloped, and I'm using all of my scraps, okay? Seriously, scraps, scraps. I'm going to punch out, and I have three of these pages, and I need to make three, ta um, three pulls for them, but I need them to be double-sided. So I really need to make six of each one of these I'm going to show you. And that will all make sense in a minute. So I need to punch six craft colored scallop circles. One. So I have six scallop circles. And now I need to punch six pattern paper of the one and a quarter inch. So I cut all six of these and then adhered them to each other. And now these are the little book pages that we made. And what I'm going to do is center one of these on the top. And I want to make sure it doesn't match. I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to take it and using the scallops, I'm going to line it up, eyeball in the center. Sometimes eyeballing is dangerous, but I'm just doing it. Put a little more adhesive on the front. Pick out another one of these guys and just line the scallops up. And this will make a pull tab. See? So let's get on both sides. Okay. So let's do another one. Just going to check this other side real quick. Make sure I put the right one down. Okay. Little pull tab here. I'm 
and the last one. This book is filling up so much. Now, some of you guys had mentioned that I could take these, and I'm going to do it this way so you can see, and put them into the bags and let the top hang over. That is a super cute idea. See that? I'm going to have them like this, but that is a good idea. So if you're wondering, that is another way to do it. There's that one. There's that one. And this one. All right, so here's what we've got done. I always like to do a little glance through. So we've got these pages plus these tags. Close that. We got this page. It's ready for our little picture to go in. I went ahead and matted these. So you can see that these are ready for photos and little and more embellishing. Then we have our um, matchbook with our tabs and our little deals in there. Then we still have these pages. And then the one from tonight, which I'm so excited about this and I love it. Love this. I tell you what I'm going to do. I want to do another one of these on this inside piece. So I'm going to do that um, between now and when we get together again since it's the very same thing. And then I'll show you how it turned out. But I want to do exactly the same thing right there. I just love this idea. And it takes up a good bit of space. It just looks good to me. So there you go, guys. That's another installment. We are really getting close on this guy. We've got this front portion done. I do need to do this portion, both of these back sides, and then I think we can go to the cover. I'm very excited about that. All right, guys, so thanks for sticking around with me. Look how thick it's getting. <laughs> it's looking good, huh? All right, I will see you guys um, tomorrow for the basics of adhesives. We continue the series, the basic series, so don't miss that, and then on Wednesday, we'll do some more in this book. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.